Uh, my name is James Moody. I've been at BYU for about 11 months now. I'm an assistant professor of biochemistry. Every medicine you take interacts with something inside your cells or on the surface of your cells. And many of those things are proteins. And when things go wrong, such as in cancer, often it's because a protein is broken or missing or there's too much or too, too little of it. And understanding how cancer works and understanding how drugs work really depends on having a picture of the protein in question. So for those, those diseases that, for which we have a, a, an atomic scale picture of the protein, we are empowered to develop new treatments for that disease. We develop tools that are intended to make it easier to crystallize proteins. Proteins have evolved to not form crystals, to not interact, and so we uh, develop tags that can help to drag the proteins into a crystal lattice, uh, which is necessary to get an image with x-rays. So we get a lot of copies of the protein to crystallize, so they're all facing the same way. Um, we hit that crystal with an x-ray beam. X-rays bounce off the atoms onto a detector. We get a pattern of spots, uh, and we can use a computer to calculate where all of the atoms are in the protein. And so when we say picture, that's what, that's what we mean. Uh, there's a couple of things that are unique about what the Moody Lab does. First, we are uh, using something called a crystallization chaperone. So it's like a helper that helps to pull proteins into a crystal. Um, but our crystallization chaperones, they form polymers. So the, the chaperone itself, the helper, will link up into a long chain that helps to then pull the protein of interest into that chain, which helps to form the crystal. In the Moody Lab, it's really important that the students really own the project. And I feel like that student ownership is important to spur creativity and also for the development of students as scientists. Before, I didn't think I would get in when I met with him and talked with him, but uh, he gave me an opportunity and I'm really excited to run with it. I do want to hopefully make discoveries in the long term while I'm here at BYU and maybe in the future working in other research labs. Our goal is to have pictures of everything that's in the cell, and that's, that's a very long-term goal. But when the human race has a picture of everything inside the human cell at the atomic scale, uh, it will massively empower us to develop drugs in a computer, which is much cheaper, allows us to screen many more compounds because they're just computer simulations. Uh, and we hope to use that ability to treat all diseases, ultimately.